Today on this 2011 Ford F-150, we're going to review and install the 4-foot pigtail wiring harness for pilot replacement 7-pole sockets, part number PK11998. Now this is a good part to use in replacement of a damaged connector up here. As you can see here, the original connector here has been kind of doctored up to make it survive a day, but it definitely needs to be replaced. This part is designed to hardwire into existing wire harness from the tow package and come out to the connector. And it has a US car connector on the end. Now this part number also comes with some buck connectors to make your connections and also a ground loop as well. Now we'll go ahead and show you how we installed the wiring harness. So let's go ahead and remove a part of our existing harness so we get to good wires that aren't damaged. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the sheath open here. And we'll go ahead and loosen up our wires. And we'll go ahead and cut our wires. We'll just cut them in half, one at a time. Notice I've got my ground wire separate, which is my white wire. So by the way, this orange one is a power wire. Depending on the tow to package, it may have the fuse already installed or it may not. But as long as we keep this one separate, when we're cutting, we won't create a short. We go ahead and remove the rest of our old wire harness and get it out of the way. At this point, we can go ahead and strip the wires back, maybe about a quarter inch or so. Then you can use the supply buck connector and crimp it in place. However, since this sits outside towards the bottom, this is gonna get abused in the weather. It's a good idea to go ahead and replace these guys with something a little more durable. We'll be using the DECA heat shrink buck connector for 12 and 10 gauge wires, part number DW05745-10. They work just like any other buck connector, but when we apply heat, they'll shrink up and seal themselves up and last a lot longer in this under the truck environment. Some of these wires are gonna be on a thinner side, so you can strip them back, fold them over, and they'll work just fine. If you wanna change these out, that way you don't have to buy two different sizes of buck connectors. Now depending on your application, you may or may not need all this length. And for our installation, we don't really need the whole four foot. So I'm actually gonna just cut it in half and work with it from there. So once again, we'll get our wires ready to go. We'll hook up to our buck connectors. Now this will not be an exact color for color matchup. We will start off matching up the ones we can first. Now we're gonna match up for white to white. Now for some reason we didn't want to use this white ground wire that came from the factory, we could use a ring terminal that comes with the kit and then attach it to the frame. But we got a good wire here, so we'll just go ahead and use that. Next up will be blue to blue. All right, next we'll do brown to brown. Next up will be green to green. Now I'll we'll start working with the colors that don't match up. So this yellow wire here goes to our reverse light that's gonna to go to our gray with a black stripe. Now, our red will go to our all yellow wire here. And finally, our black will go to orange. Now I'm gonna use a heat gun to go ahead and shrink all the butt connectors to seal them up. Yes, you can use a lighter or a barbecue lighter, but this works much better and less likely to damage the buck connector. Now they're all sealed up and ready to go. We'll take a few moments and we'll wrap them up with some electrical tape just to bundle up the wires. Now if our original connector right here was in good shape, we could just simply plug it into the back of it. But since this one's seen much better days, we're actually gonna replace it the part number HM40975 from Hopkins. This is a direct factory replacement. This will fit into the original bracket that's been installed on our Ford F-150. You just don't need that or you need to start over from really from scratch. 
You can also use the accompanying bracket that comes with the kit and the hardware that comes with it as well. Now before putting everything together, it's a good idea to apply some dielectric grease to the contacts to help protect it to keep them from corroding. We'll be using part number 11755 from Blue Rheumatic. It doesn't take much, just a light film. We'll sprout our wire harness through the bracket and we'll plug in our new connector. We'll line up the two pieces together, push it together so it clicks, and we'll push in this gray locking tab. Now we'll take this whole assembly, push it into place. This one's gonna be a tight fit, so the bracket's not in its original shape. But as long as you get the clips from behind to snap into place, you'll be good to go. Now I'll take a few moments to go ahead and push our wires up and out of the way. Make sure they're safe, bundled up, and secure. And we'll attach them with some zip ties. Here's what it looks like installed. Now let's test it out. First, we'll go ahead and try out the running light circuit, left turn signal, right turn signal, brake signal, and we'll double check our electric brake signal. And we'll go ahead and put it in reverse and make sure that comes on as well. And now finish it for the Pollock four foot pigtail wiring harness, part number PK11998 on this 2011 Ford F-150. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.